Hey guys, uh, happy Monday to you. It's Thanksgiving week and uh, a lot of people are talking about, you know, all the eating and all the different things that we're going to be doing over the over the next uh, next week and really the next 45 days. And, you know, for those of you that don't know my story, I, ha I have um, a company called Transform My Future and uh, I have a program called Rethink Dieting, uh, predominantly for men. We actually started a ladies division recently too, but my wife and I serve ladies as well. But the story really started um, back in 2017 and I somebody asked me what was holding me back and I said my weight. I had um, I'd stepped on the scale uh, in 2017 on March 2nd, and I saw 304 pounds staring back at me. Um, it was early in the morning. I had um, it was the day after my 31st wedding anniversary with my wife, um, and it just hit me. I mean, 304 pounds. I was five feet eleven. Still, I'm five eleven. I'm not any taller, not any shorter, but I just it was like bam. I'm over 300 pounds. How did I let this happen? How did I how did I let this get so out of hand that I was so out of control? And um, and when I was standing there, I I knew that that I had never met a man that was over 65 years old. I was 55. That I'd never met a man that was over 65 that had uh, 100 pounds or more to lose. I was in the uh, life insurance business where I sold. Um, so what's called final expense, which is like burial insurance, uh, to um, to senior citizens, and I'd literally sat in probably three, four thousand homes, probably more, of sixty-five and older families, and I can remember a man that that was that old. And really, the the truth was, is because you know those men didn't make it, and and it hit me that that could be me. Now there may be, there may be somebody out there that's morbidly obese at, at age sixty-five. It's a man that I don't know about, but but there weren't many and and I also knew that that I was likely to be known as that first husband you know you see the picture on the wall and you say they say oh who's that guy oh that's my first husband he died of heart disease of diabetes type 2 diabetes of you know all all these myriad of things that are weight related because over 300,000 people every year die of an obesity related death it's it's like I had a choice and I knew it and I also knew that it was holding me back from from living out the kind of life that I was destined to live. I knew that there was stuff I wanted to do. I knew inside I was still young and I didn't want to be known as the first husband. I didn't want some other guy married to my wife after she waited some appropriate length of time and had 15 guys chasing her because she's gorgeous. I didn't want some other guy to be, you know, to be the dad to my kids in their adult years. And, and I didn't want to miss my purpose, my destiny. I know it sounds like a little woo-woo to get your destiny, but really, I mean, what are you here for? Are you here for another cheeseburger? Or are you here to here to live out? But to live out what you're supposed to do. I didn't complete my thought. So, so I help help men, you know, lose the pounds that hold them back from living the life that they were destined to live. That's what I do. And you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a physical fitness expert. I say this all the time. I'm just a guy that that really failed miserably for decades with my weight and figured out in 260 days how to go from 304 pounds to 175 pounds. And I show guys how to do that. You know, does everybody do it? No, no, everybody doesn't want it as bad as I did. But the guys that do, it's amazing to watch the process. It's amazing. It's different for everybody. But but I want really what I want to talk to you about today is something. My wife and I we, we get up real early every morning and we live on a million in Florida and we ride to the to the beach. We're about a mile away from our beach and our marina and and the section we live in is like two two and a half miles wide. And um, and normally you know depending on how busy we are we'll ride and it, she lets me go in the lead lets me go in the lead which is pretty cool. And then um, because it's hard to ride side by side on, on a busy road uh, and stuff. So, you know, the other day when we were riding, I think it was Saturday, I wanted to ride a little further. And I said, hey, if you, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm not going to turn off where we normally do. Let's ride a little further, ride back down the marina. And, um, and she, she yelled, where, where are we leading? I'm following. And it was about a bicycle ride. I mean, this was, but, but I mean, I look back on 2017 as that year where everything turned around. I'm like, holy smokes. When she said it, it was like, whoa. 
And, and guys, I mean, this isn't about being in charge and being domineering over your wife or whatever, but where you're leading, they're following. I remember Angie, who um, she, she'd really never struggled with obesity like I did, but, but she'd let her weight get up there. And it was interesting. When I started losing weight, guess what happened? She started losing weight. She lost 63 pounds in 180 days or 170-something days. She went from 188 to 125 in, in four months. So what was happening was, you know, because of the way I was living, she was slipping up and letting that weight slip up higher and higher. And, but then when I turned it around, she began to follow there. And, you know, our kids, I mean, I think about, you know, some of the things that happened with our kids that year, you know, some of the things that are, we've got three, three adult sons and adult daughter, and some of the things they started doing and some of the things, not just with their weight, but with other areas, because guys, when you're leading, they're following. And, and you think that you may think that having another bite of this or having another bite of that doesn't matter. It matters. They're following whether you want to or not. And this isn't some about being a dominant male thing. That's not what this is about. This is about just the natural progression of, you know, somebody in the household that is struggling with their weight and, and just drifting. Well, the, well your family is going to drift too. And I may get some, some negative Facebook uh, remarks on this. So be it. It's just reality. I mean, you know, we exercise together. You know, if I'm, if I'm a set, leading a sedentary, you know, lifestyle, my kids are going to do, do that more likely to. It doesn't mean they have to, but where I lead, they're following. And so know that, you know, it might not bother you that when you get on an airplane, you have to use an, a seatbelt extender like I had to use, or that you're wearing a size, you know, double, triple X shirt, or that you're ashamed when you walk into the, into the clothing store and you say, oh, you know, where do you have my size? And they say, well, we don't carry anything that big. Or you, you know, or you sit in a chair, you have to think about when you're stepping into a room in a business meeting and you're stepping into the room and, and you're having to look around for a chair that's wide enough for you because they've all got arms on them. And you're like, I've got to, you know, I better find me one or I'm going to get really embarrassed. Or you're sitting in a chair that you're worried is going to collapse under you. I've had chairs collapse under me. And so when, when I see that, that may not bother you. That you may think, oh, whatever, I'm fine. And, and that may, but it, it's affecting other people. That's what I didn't realize at the time. And my wife always said that, where, where you lead, I follow. I'm like, whoa. I mean, we've been married 34 years. And, and so when, when you're, you're eating, it, it's bigger than just, just your obesity. You, you can, you know, I know when I, when I was, I was worried about my health. I'd, I'd have little scares with my blood pressure. And I wasn't, doctor didn't put me on any medicine. I'd have scares with my blood sugar. Doctor didn't put me on any medicine. I mean, I wasn't that bad then. And it was easy to put it off. It was easy to say maybe later. But when it all came down to it, it was all up to me. It was never a diet. And, and that's what's crazy. What I, what I used to lose weight, I'd failed on seven or eight times. I lost count, truthfully. I don't know how many times I failed on it. I failed on so many diets that it wasn't even funny. My, my wife and I, we got rid of a lot of old diet books years ago because I'd failed on so many of them. And so was it the diet that got me thin or the decision? I, I would submit that it's the decision. There's, you know, in the other side of that, after all the shame of being obese, all the shame of, you know, knowing that it was hurting me in my business, all the shame of knowing that, that I couldn't, you know, be as, as successful in sales that I was in then because of my obesity, all these things, all the money it cost me, all the health concerns that were coming, that were headed right for me like a freight train that I was ignoring. I was so close to the promised land all the time. I mean, I think I use this this analogy of the the Israelites and the um, when they're leaving at the Red Sea, they were eleven days out from the promised land, but it took them forty years. I was just like the Israelites; it was going to take me forty years, and and so it it was really that decision and that trigger. And there's a whole bunch of other things that that went into it. Obviously, did I have to change what I ate? Of course I did. Did the men that you know, that, that I'm working with, that they have to change what they're eating. Of course they do. But was it ever the diet? I don't think so. It was always the decision. It was, are you defiantly committed to your dream? Are you defiantly committed to it? And, and so 
I say this to you not to not to rag on you or, or be negative or whatever, but to say, man, it's so cool when you get there. When I get text messages from from my clients that that tell me they're they're doing things, they're they're experiencing stuff, and most of it doesn't have anything to do with weight. It doesn't have to do with oh, I'm breathing, I'm walking without breathing heavy, and all these things, which is that's important. Oh, I'm off my medicine. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. That's important. But you're free. It's not about the fat. It's about the freedom. It's about the freedom that you get when you get rid of the fat because when you've got that monkey on your back of day in, day out worrying about what you're going to do, how you're going to eat right, how you're going to do this, how you're going to do that, how, you know, what are, but, and how are people going to look at me? How is it going to be in this situation and all these negative things? When you get that monkey off your back, it's free. Walking into a clothing store and going to the mannequin and saying, that's my size on the mannequin. You know, going into your son's closet who wears 34 skinny jeans and, and putting on a pair of them, and they fit fine. I had to borrow his pants. I'm not telling you this to boast about my story. I'm telling you that it's possible. So if you guys are struggling and you're stuck, you know, reach out to me. You can schedule a free breakthrough session at transformyfuture.com forward slash apply. It's a 45 minutes to an hour session. Uh, we'll map out a strategy for you. It's totally free. It will get you unstuck. And um, because it, it really, you don't have to live like this anymore. You don't have to go through Thanksgiving and gain weight. You can lose weight over the next 45 days. You really can. I get, there's guys that'll be doing that. But it's, um, it's something that, that at some point you've got to say is now the time. It's got to be go time. It, it's it's got to be that moment where you say, I'm not going to tolerate it one more second. Reach out to me there. In fact, you can even text me. You can text me at 904-204-1420, 904-204-1420. You know, if you need to talk right now, just boom, hit me. I'll, I'll do my best to get on the phone with you or at least schedule something, uh, you know, later with you if, if I'm already on the line. But, but don't just ignore it anymore. There, there's, I'm telling you, the other side is way better. It's way better. Are you, I don't remember what I what I didn't eat. All I remember is I got there and how cool it felt and how cool it feels today not to be struggling with obesity anymore. So so just know that. Reach out to me, transformmyfuture.com forward slash apply. You can watch a masterclass that I did. It gives you a lot of strategies. It um, had, had somebody comment the other day. They were just blown away by all the strategies commented on, uh, on Facebook, which made me feel really good that it helped somebody. But go to rethinkdieting.com. You can watch a bunch of these videos uh, on YouTube at Rethink Dieting. And, um, and guys, just remember, it's never about the diet. It's always about the decision. So take care, guys.